This clip is brought to you by MindBullet. Increase focus for work or working out. Enjoy this clip. But I'm imagining that anything that you can do that is movement directed, yeah. uh, and, and the more complex it is, probably the better, but it doesn't have to be as complex as you think because it could be as simple as walking. Yeah, and walking, I'm so happy that you brought that up because walking is one of the best things that you can do for your brain in terms of brain health. And uh, there was actually a study that was done on uh, mild cognitive impairment patients walking 30 minutes a day and they reduced their cognitive impairment by I think it was around 26%. Wow. So just, Ooh. yeah, it, it just walking is great. I love walking. I think it's a, incredible. You get that forward ambulation. You get to be outside. You're getting the natural yeah. sunlight. But not just that, you're, in, get, you're lifting your heart rate up. Mm -hmm. And what do we know now uh, about heart rate that means that we're getting more blood which goes to the brain more blood means more oxygen your brain needs oxygen to survive that every tissue does but also needs nutrients and needs it through blood flow yeah. and this is why exercising is one of the best prescriptions for alzheimer's disease and also strokes you know mm -hmm. strokes when you think about it what's a stroke it's an occlusion of a blood vessel mm -hmm. we can have a stroke in our lung it's just called a pulmonary embolism we can have a stroke in our heart. It's just called it's just called something different, you know. So we've got a cerebral embolism in our head, or so we we need to be getting this blood flow. Yeah, and we need to be doing you know whatever we can to strengthen the chambers. Um, in exercise physiology, we call it cardiac remodeling. So if you're just getting that great base, which starts off with walking and then lift it back up, you know, maybe start jogging a little bit, get into zone two. You're training the chambers of your heart. And when you cha train the chambers of your heart, you're getting a – your arteries have muscles. You know, you, you're training the walls of the artery to be able to pump out more blood and more oxygen mm -hmm. with every heartbeat. Mm. Dr. Gabrielle Lyon points out that she believes a lot of disease starts in the muscle. Uh, mm. Would you agree with that? Um, I mean, she's uh, she's amazing. I, I, love, I love Gab. And I don't – know if that's entirely true. However, I am now really studying the effects of skeletal muscle and its effects on the brain. So mm. uh, probably. Hey guys, if you like this clip, go ahead and comment down below and let us know what you liked about it. All right. Share this with a friend. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also we are on Reddit and Discord. All that's down below. All our sponsors and everyone that supports us down below there too. So you can get whatever you like from us. All right. Peace.